The relationship between testosterone levels and cardiovascular risks has been a widely studied topic, generating debates and different interpretations within the medical community. Testosterone, the main male sex hormone, plays an important role in several bodily functions, including the regulation of muscle mass, bone density, and mood. However, its impact on cardiovascular health, especially on the risk of myocardial infarction, heart attack, stroke, cardiovascular death, and all-cause mortality, is still not fully understood. Even so, I have done extensive research and now invite you to join us in delving deeper into this topic. Exploring what the latest science says about the effects of testosterone on men and cardiovascular risks. All references used to produce this video are here in the description area. Let's go. Oh, but first, comment below why this topic interested you. Also, write down which city you are watching this video from. Now, let's get started. First, understand the importance of testosterone in the male body. Testosterone is essential for male health, affecting sexual characteristics, such as muscle and bone development, as well as influencing mental well-being and cardiovascular function. As men age, testosterone levels tend to naturally decrease, which can be associated with a series of health problems, including loss of muscle mass, fatigue, depression, and a higher risk of cardiovascular events. So how is the research done to find out how much testosterone is in the body to diagnose disorders in its levels? The diagnosis of testosterone-related disorders, such as hypogonadism, requires the accurate measurement of testosterone levels in the blood. The dosage of this substance is complex, as its levels can vary greatly over time due to several biological factors, such as age, time of day, and variations in binding proteins. But in an attempt to ensure the most accurate results possible, the total testosterone level should preferably be measured in the early hours of the morning between 7 and 9 a.m. when testosterone reaches its highest levels. The test should be done on an empty stomach. In addition to total testosterone, doctors can also measure free testosterone which is the biologically active fraction not bound to plasma proteins, such as sex hormone binding globulin, SHBG. This is especially important in patients with total testosterone levels close to the lower limit of normal, or when there is a suspicion of alterations in binding proteins, such as in cases of obesity or diabetes. The diagnosis of androgenic disorders depends on the correct interpretation of these tests considering both the laboratory values and the patient's clinical symptoms, which may include fatigue, erectile dysfunction, loss of muscle mass, and mood swings. I'll give you a practical example to help you understand better. Joao, 50 years old, had constant fatigue, loss of libido, and weight gain. When he took the tests, his total testosterone levels were slightly below normal. The doctor then ordered a free testosterone measurement, which confirmed a hormonal deficiency. With the diagnosis established, Joao was referred for appropriate follow-up with continuous monitoring of hormone levels and assessment of cardiovascular risks with an endocrinologist. Now, the big question is, do low testosterone levels really increase the risk of heart disease and death? Do low testosterone levels represent a warning sign? Population and cohort studies suggest that men with low testosterone levels have an increased risk of mortality from all causes, including myocardial infarction and stroke. In fact, in a study published in the American Journal of Cardiology, 2019, men with low testosterone levels had a higher rate of mortality from all causes over a five-year period compared to those with normal levels. The results showed that men with low testosterone levels had a 17.8% risk of mortality from all causes, compared to 6.8% in men with normal levels. Another relevant study, published in Circulation, 2007, found that low endogenous testosterone was inversely related to mortality, especially cardiovascular mortality. In this study, men with the lowest testosterone levels had an increased risk of death from cardiovascular disease and all causes. 
Specifically, for every 6 nanomoles-l increase in testosterone, the odds of mortality decreased significantly. This suggests that low testosterone may be a warning marker for more serious health problems, including cardiac events. These findings suggest that declining testosterone levels, especially in middle-aged and older men, may be associated with an increased vulnerability to cardiovascular disease. Testosterone Replacement Therapy, TRT, and Cardiovascular Risk Many men with low testosterone turn to testosterone replacement therapy, TRT, to improve their quality of life and alleviate symptoms of hypogonadism, which include fatigue, depression, decreased libido, and loss of muscle mass. But a question that remains is, does TRT increase the risk of cardiovascular events such as heart attack or stroke? The answer is not so simple. Several studies have produced conflicting results. Some studies, such as a 2024 meta-analysis published in Progress in Cardiovascular Diseases, suggest that TRT may have a neutral or even beneficial effect on cardiovascular outcomes in men with low testosterone levels. Indeed, this analysis of 30 randomized controlled trials suggested that TRT was not associated with a significant increase in cardiovascular events in men with testosterone deficiency. These results are encouraging as they show that in many cases, testosterone replacement therapy may be safe for heart health. On the other hand, a previous study, published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, JAMA, in 2013, suggested an association between TRT and an increased risk of myocardial infarction and stroke. Men who received TRT had a slightly higher incidence of these events compared with those who did not receive hormone replacement therapy. However, it is important to note that these results vary depending on the population studied, the length of follow-up, and the underlying risk factors. To illustrate the importance of this debate, imagine the following scenario. John, 60, began to experience extreme fatigue, as well as a significant loss of libido and muscle mass. After blood tests, it was determined that his testosterone levels were significantly below normal. He began testosterone replacement therapy with the goal of improving his quality of life. However, John also had a history of high blood pressure and was at risk for heart problems. After starting TRT, his energy levels and well-being improved, but he had a mild heart attack a few months later. This raises an important question. Did TRT contribute to the cardiac event, or was John's medical history the predominant factor? This example highlights the complexity of the situation. Hormone replacement therapy can provide substantial benefits for some men, but it must be carefully monitored, especially in patients with pre-existing cardiovascular risk factors. So, how does medicine address cardiovascular risk in TRT? When considering TRT, it is essential that physicians perform a thorough evaluation of each patient. This involves 1. Complete physical examination. Before starting any replacement therapy, the physician performs a detailed physical evaluation, including checking blood pressure, history of heart disease, diabetes, and other risk factors. 2. Laboratory tests. Blood tests to measure testosterone levels, cholesterol, blood sugar, and liver function are essential to monitor the impact of therapy. 3. Regular monitoring. Once TRT is started, the patient should be monitored regularly to assess any changes in hormone levels and signs of complications. Imaging tests, such as echocardiograms, may also be recommended to check heart health and... 4. Cardiology monitoring. Men with a history of cardiovascular disease or significant risk factors should be monitored by a cardiologist during TRT treatment to ensure that any changes are detected early. Another question that may arise is, do the effects of testosterone on heart health depend on the dose? Another important factor to consider is that the impact of testosterone on heart health may be dose-dependent. This means that while very low levels of testosterone increase the risk of heart disease, excessively high levels, whether through steroid abuse or uncontrolled replacements, can also be harmful.
Studies suggest that excess testosterone can lead to an increase in red blood cell production, erythropoiesis, which can increase blood viscosity and increase the risk of thrombosis, heart attack, and stroke. Therefore, maintaining balanced levels is important to reap the benefits of testosterone without increasing the risks. Testosterone treatment requires regular monitoring of hormone levels, especially in the first few months. The goal is to keep testosterone levels within the normal physiological range, which is usually 300 bangyang DL to 1000 downing DL. If testosterone levels remain too low, the dose can be increased. If they are high, the dose can be reduced to avoid side effects, such as increased hematocrit or risk of cardiovascular events. So, testosterone, friend or foe? In short, the answer to the question, is there a connection between testosterone and cardiovascular risk, is complex. Low testosterone levels are associated with an increased risk of heart attack, stroke, and all-cause mortality, suggesting that maintaining healthy testosterone levels is beneficial for longevity and heart health. However, testosterone replacement, when poorly monitored or performed without clinical need, can increase these same risks, especially in men with a predisposition to cardiovascular problems. Therefore, the safest course of action is to always seek specialized medical advice before starting any treatment. Testosterone is not a magic pill to increase vitality. It is a tool that, if used correctly and responsibly, can improve quality of life. However, if used recklessly, it can lead to serious complications. If you liked this content or learned something new, take the opportunity to like and subscribe to the channel. Remember to share this video with other people who can benefit from this information. Our health is our most precious asset. All the scientific literature used in this video is listed in the description below for those who want to learn more about the subject. Click Become a Member to support the productions here on the channel. Daniel Coriolano here, and until next time.